several out of town and out of state politicians were in Detroit for a fundraising event for Harris called Mobilize Black Men. CBS News Detroit's Walter Murphy brings us details from the TV lounge on Grand River. Well, that event that was here tonight, it brought out around 200 people, all with the common goal to make sure that everyone in the city of Detroit knows how and when to vote. Now it took place at the TV lounge downtown, and like I mentioned, there were about 200 people there. It even drew in several key politicians from the Midwest and beyond, including Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson, U.S. Congressional Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, as well as Michigan Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist II. All of them spoke to the crowd about what this election means to the city of Detroit and the country overall. And they also spoke to the crowd, which was mostly all black men, about what they their duty is during this election cycle. You know, we are the embodiment of what um, the people of America have longed to see. A black, brown, white, Asian, young, old, rural, uh, big city, mid-sized city, cities that we all come together uh, to make sure that we realize a more perfect union. This is all about inclusion. All of us see ourselves in this movement. And frankly, black men have been talked about more in this election season than we have in a long time. I think people are realizing that we have power and we need to use that power, not just to elect the first black woman president, but to assert the role that we will play in America's political future. I did reach out to them to ask exactly how much money was raised at this event that happened just a few hours ago. They told me they're still tallying those numbers right now, but get them to me as soon as they could. Reporting downtown, I'm Walter Murphy, CBS News, Detroit.